Hey there, it's Brittany, and I am back with a table tour of my table in my craft room. Um, so I'm kind of just tricking you with showing you the bead mat. Um, I'm going to pull my light up, and we're going to look around. I just spent hours, hours cleaning this table, and it's the best I've ever seen <laughs> since I put it here because I spent hours on it. But um, it took so long because of just the piles and piles of beads I haven't... Um, I haven't cleaned up in months because I've just been doing videos and videos and videos. And finally, like with my hand injury, I was like, I have to clean this up. Like I have to get it done. So it's not the best lighting cause it's like midnight, <laughs> but, um, I'm going to do a table tour with you. So right to my left here, I have all, well, not all my tools, but most of my tools. And obviously I didn't think about cleaning this up before I showed you, but, um, the tools I use the most are in the front, my pliers, nippers, um, some nylon jaw pliers. Goldie is like, mom, I want attention. <laughs> um, just a drink, like a coaster. And then I keep the, um, really large, um, one millimeter pleather roll here. Cause I don't, I don't know where else to put it. Like I have to my severe left, um, leather in that bin, but it's not the best situation and I, I want to redo that. So I'm going to take you through the things that are on the desk. But before I go any further, Miss Goldie is demanding attention. What's up, bud? What do you want? You just want pets, huh? Yeah. So we kind of get a mid mid video Goldie, which we never do. Hey, you want to go outside? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe we'll take a break to go outside. Okay, so here is um, the shot of my desk right now. So we can see that it's actually it's a kitchen table. And look at Goldie, she's like, bum, I'm gonna mess around and eat all the loose beads. <laughs> and then um, I'm not gonna show you kind of like what's going on over here because it's a hot mess, but um, we have two little a Alex drawers. Um, there's a random trash can under there and then we'll go through and show you everything that is on my table. Okay, so I don't really like having stuff out, so this isn't really like the ideal setup for me, but for now, I have all my beadalon wire in this bucket, and if you're in my bead group, you would have seen my post asking for help <laughs> because it was all like tangled in there and crazy. So I did like the, the idea of putting it in baggies and then just labeling the baggies, and I labeled them from the inside, so in case the label wanted to fall off. So I have a lot of open packs, but there are some unopened packs and stuff, and this is mostly beetle on in here. And then um, it helps when I'm doing a video, I can just like reach up there and grab something. And then here we have glue. That's, there's not really much in there right now, but um, I guess there doesn't really need to be because I don't really use glue too much other than my GS Hypo cement for doing um, stretch bracelets. And then the second one, we have a wire that's on spools. So pair of wire, artistic wire, um, stuff from different stores. And then this one is a hot mess right now, but um, a lot of bead stringing wire is in here. It's mostly beetle on, but I do have some soft flex. Um, and there's elastic cord in here too. So, but it's not, it's not really like, it's supposed to be just bead, bead stringing wire, but um, elastic cord kind of migrated in there. Um, so then I have some seed beads. These are just colors that I thought were pretty and that I thought I wanted to put out so I would see them and use them more. Um, I tend to use some of them, but not like these. Like these could probably all go in a drawer with the rest of them. All my seed beads are down there in a drawer. Um, but I do use some of the metal ones and um, some of the, the um, Mayuki uh, Picasso ones a lot. And then obviously I have like a charging station here. This is my lamp. This is for my phone. And then like I'm charging my iPad because I was watching The Witcher while I was cleaning. <laughs> now it's dead. And then I have this thing that I've had for years and years and I love it. Um, it's kind of clunky. 
but this is a really, really big desk. It's not really a desk. It's like a kitchen table that I bought from Ikea that's just white. Um, so then I keep tools that I don't really use a lot in there. My scissors. Um, I just found this while I was cleaning the last accord needle. I haven't used one in a while. Um, tweezers, my caliper, my rulers. Um, yeah, just stuff that I, so most of the stuff I do not use that often. And it's, it's funny because the stuff on the right hand side, even though I'm right handed, I don't tend to use, but the stuff on the left side I use all the time, every single day. It's like my tools, like, I don't know why I go for left stuff when I'm right handed, but maybe it's because I do my videos around the left side of my camera. I don't know. So then here I have, let's see if I can tw twist my light that way. I have um, paper towels and look at this isn't this cute my sister ju I just opened this for Christmas today it was Christmas Eve and she's she was feeling down because um, she was sick so she's like hey open the presents I got you on FaceTime I was like okay and I had actually been looking for one of these for this reason for my bead room and she sent it to me for jewelry and it's it's from anthropology and you kind of it's just like a stacking jewelry organizer but I'm gonna keep it out just like this so I can see um, like focal beads so right now I have three focal beads in it <laughs> but it's been on my desk for a total of two hours so then I have this beautiful shell box that um, Pam gave me from bead temptations I see it every day I love it so much it's so gorgeous and then right here is um, my lazy Susan with all, well, not all, but some of my bead soups. So I guess I could go through the bead soups with you if that's something you're interested in. Let me move this out of the way. Oh, and then these are marble. I use those for taking photos. Um, let's see. I guess I could get up here, get in here. So we have um, bone. It's not really that full. I usually put those back in the drawer. We have crystals. I have another crystal one, um, but that's that's all Jesse James beads in a different place. These I just threw up there. I haven't gone through them. They're from a recent haul. This is like charms that I don't feel like sorting that I just kind of throw in there. This one is wood beads, and I gotta tell you, I never use these. Like I never, not just the wood beads. I never come over here to the Lazy Susan because it's on the right side. So there are so many beads in here that I like looking at and I love. I think they're beautiful, but I just forget they're over here because they're out of my reach. So I gotta figure that out. That's another thing that I don't really love about this table. It's very wide. So if I think it was thinner. Um, I think I wouldn't have so much of a reach to reach everything like I have really long arms I'm almost I'm just about six feet tall but it's still out of my reach to reach over here every time anyway this beautiful mix came from um, Lynn she sent me these and I love them and I love looking at them then I just have like um, acrylic and glass in here this one is metal. I have another one that's all Jesse James beads metal, but this one, it could have Jesse James beads in it, but it, um, it has all other stuff too. This one's sea glass. I haven't really done a whole lot lately with that. This one is just, um, this one's like Indonesian, like cheap lamp work glass that I got a bunch of strands of. I gotta do like a, but like, I just gotta start using this stuff or, or selling it or giving it away or something more. Um, acrylic and glass that I'm like because this one is full so I started a new one and all these containers came from the Dollar Tree and then this one is stones and gemstones so ooh, like that purple one I need to put in my new focal spot but anyway yeah I got to start using these more but I love that it spins so right here I have just a bucket of Christmas stuff that I've been using for my 25 days of Christmas. Um, it's grown exponentially. <laughs> so, uh, it was a lot smaller when I, like the bucket's the same, but I was able to close it when I started this year. But I think it's because I didn't buy a whole lot of Christmas stuff. I just got a whole lot, like, um, I just found it for other places in my room. So, it, I just started putting stuff in here that I thought really went well with it. Um, I just reorganized on either side 
of my desk. Two Alex smaller Ikea things, one on the right side, one on the left. And I just reorganized most of this one. So this one right here is go-to stuff. So these little dish trays that I use all the time, I'm gonna be, er, I always come in here and it's always discombobulated in here. So I'm so glad that I um, organized it today. I don't know, this trash bag or this Ziploc has been coming out the whole time. So then I put some larger like sandwich bags. Um, I'm going to, I think, make the second drawer all plastic baggies in different sizes, but I have to um, organize all of mine because they're all a hot mess. Like they're all just, I'm going to peek around here, like that's all plastic bags. So I need to like get that. I hate throwing them out because I think it's just a waste. Um, so then I have um, some elastic cord in several different sizes, um, some gum, some jewelry cleaners that I got from Heidi. Um, and then these are like clips and bead stoppers. So I can use them when I'm using bead stringing wire. Um, and then I have some uh, barrel knot tubes. I have some thank you cards back there because I'm always looking for thank you cards. Um, some label maker uh, tape, some regular tape is in there, and then these little scoops that I really like for cleaning up beads. And my headphones are in here and some more trays. Oh, and batteries because sometimes you need batteries. The second one is literally stuffed with receipts. I got to take them out of there, but it's giving me a little bit of anxiety. So they're staying in there for now. <laughs> um, third one, I just cleaned out. These were actually sitting out and I would like lean around behind me, grab them off of my other, my, my one of my other Alex things that's behind me. Um, and then I kind of just stuck them in here. It's just some random um, metal beads i have metal bead cases and i'm going to swing you over so you can kind of see them but i hate them um i don't like them in this kind of organization i never want to get up to get them even though they're right there like if i'm in the middle of a project i just want to grab and reach something um so i, I gotta re retool it i've learned that I don't like bins with that I have to take the tops off of and I don't really like cases very much. I love drawers and, and bins that are open. So I've literally just realized that about myself, like to the point where it just started, I just started realizing it like this month. <laughs> so in here, and these are not gonna stay like this. I just needed a place to put them and I really like this um, and it's gonna, um, encourage me to use this set of drawers. It was, it was so ineffective the way I had this. I had junk in there that I just don't need to have next to me. And this is prime real estate. So I have some um, copper and antique brass. These are bead caps, gold, silver, clasps, and some daisy spacers back here. This is not going to stay like this, but it's going to stay like this for now just because it's easier on me. Next... Um, I just threw these in here because they were on the floor. I mean, they were in the lowest one, bead, bead mats. They were in the lowest one, but um, I put them on the floor to get the drawer open, and then I didn't have a place to put them. So now I have bead mats in here. I think this bottom one is empty for now. Then we're going to swing over to the left side, and I have another one. And this one I use all the time. Every drawer all has... Um, findings according to metal color so first drawer gold because that's the color i tend to go to and in each drawer i tried to um, organize everything in the same way so here well this is not in the right spot but and i gotta kind of clean it up a little bit because i was throwing some things in here once i was while i was cleaning off my desk so jump rings in this one um, stringing items, some clasps, but usually those have their own spot. So things like crimp beads, crimp covers, um, go in here. Um, a little bit of memory wire, just because I like having some next to me, but I have a whole bit of memory wire on the other side of my room. Eye pins and head pins get their own. So eye pin gets one, head pins gets their own bin. Um, earrings, so all different types of gold earrings. So I have like French ear wires. I have studs, and then I have like kidney ear wires, 
all different kinds of earrings in there. And this is how I used to store most of my metal stuff. So I really actually like this and I've just kept it in here for certain things. Next drawer, silver, same thing. Next drawer, antique brass, same thing. Although my head pins are suspiciously missing and I need to like figure out what the heck I did with them. Next drawer, antique copper and copper. And this one, I just kind of threw the rose gold junk in here. I don't like this color because it tends to tarnish. So I kind of just threw it in here. Um, I do have some copper in there, but I, if I'm going for copper, it's usually antique copper. And then last, we have black or gunmetal. And I actually had some of these on the other side that I was using. And um, they were just taking up space, so I put them in with black. Uh, this is the drawer I use the least because I don't really use gunmetal too much. But, um, I, and I also have, it's just kind of hanging out right here, but I have a, a recycling bin and a trash underneath my desk at all times. So that's the desk portion. I promise you I will um, eventually get to the rest of the room. It's coming along. I mean, I know it's been a year, but uh, I, I, I've rearranged everything about six times since I moved in and I'm never happy. <laughs> So we'll see how it goes. Um, this is just the desk tour. Obviously, we didn't see a whole lot of beads, um, but I have kind of gotten that together quite a bit over there. So those are just beads that are like glass, um, maybe some ceramic, acrylic. They're, and then that whole tower is like crystals and pearls, um, faux pearls, I should say, glass pearls. But these are beads that I tend not to use very much. The beads I use a lot are on that side of the room with my bookcases and, and the larger Alex. We'll go through that at some point, but I just wanted to kind of show you my desk while it was clean. This is where I create. This is where I film. This is where I do everything. So there is my lamp that you've seen before in that giveaway that we did earlier in the year. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for Goldie again. She's super cute. Uh, Merry Christmas. It is 1.14 a.m. on Christmas. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Hey, Schnookums. You when you go to bed, I know. Mommy's still filming, though. I love you. Say Merry Christmas. You're on the nice list this year, that's for sure.